my last video we talked about how to implement some some basic CSS to a simple uh, content page here and one of the things that really helps your content stand out is by using a great font okay so this is what makes a page if you notice the default font on most browsers is this Times New Roman and it's not all that exciting to look at after a while. So one of the first things that I like to do when I'm making a page is I like to change the font because that font really gives a, a different feeling of, you know, the content. So there are there are a couple things about fonts. Number one, fonts have to be installed on the person's computer or device to be able to be seen in most cases. So if I want to change my my font for my H1, there are some some basic fonts that I, that I know that most computers have on them. Like Arial is considered one of them, right? So if I want to change my font to Arial, and there's an Arial font, I can specify it here in the font family tag in CSS. I can also do uh, oh let's see. Let me put for Donna in here. So what what this comma does is it basically is saying first look for Arial. If Arial doesn't exist on the user's device or computer, then look for for, for Donna. Okay, so because I have Arial on here, it's going to pull that one up. Um, generally, you might see something that looks like this. So this is a list of three fonts. So this is basically this is my first choice. If that isn't there, go to my second choice. If that isn't there, just pull whatever the default serif font is for a particular um, computer or device. So every computer, every device has particular fonts and they're either serif or sans serif. And serif is kind of a little bit more um, fancy, whereas sans serif is a little bit more um, block um, it's kind of like this one and so this is like sans serif and this is serif let's see the difference but one of the cool things that we can do thank you Google is they have created the ability for us to use some Google fonts and instead of having to download the font on a particular device or computer we can just kind of borrow the font from the cloud Okay, so let's uh, let's go out to Google Fonts. Okay, so it's fonts.google.com. Okay, now this is how we can make our content look so much more exciting. So let me show you how you might want to do this. So it says there's 848 fonts. Now Google Fonts are change. This being Google, it changes sometimes. So what you see and what I see might not look exactly alike at what, at whenever you're watching this video. But let's take a look. So they've got this directory here and I can make some changes here. have a little search box again like I said oh here it is search it's the user interface that changes that confuses me sometimes okay so you can search by serif so let's take a look at serif so here are our serif fonts now this is really this is sorted by trending so trending popular um, the date added alphabetical okay so these are the ones that are are being used most often. So that's serif and then this is sans serif. So do you see the difference? These kind of a little bit more like they're not as fancy. They're not as like looking like you know a, something that would be in a in a nice literature book or something. So depending on the feeling of your site you might want to use serif or sans serif or you might want to choose both whatever the case may be. And you might want to find one that is really easy to read. So these ones, Roboto, Open Sans, Lato, um, these are very popular fonts that are seen frequently on the web. Um, Railway, I really like Railway. So if I want to use this font, I can just click plus, okay? 
and what it'll say is it'll say the one family selected so a lot of times would you like to have maybe um, a serif font for your paragraphs and a sans serif font for your headings something like that um, you can also search by like thickness so if you want something that is really thick you might want to go with um, you know some other option here okay so if you wanted to do something that was you know kind of futuristic you might want something like this right lots of different things this poppins this is kind of cool and PT serif so let's see here I'm gonna go back to some regular and I'm going to do this um, Playfair display. I've never used this one. So I'm going to click plus. Now, you see I've got two families selected. Now, if I click this, this is going to give me all of the information that I need. Um, first of all, is I want to make sure that I don't select too many fonts because, again, these are all going to be loaded into the page as the page loads. So you don't want to pick like 15 fonts here and only use one of them, right? I would recommend two fonts at the most. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to embed the font. So it'll tell you copy this code into the head of your HTML document. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put it into the head of my HTML document. Now I like to put them um, above my style sheet so that when I reference the font it kind of already knows what I'm doing, right? So it's already pulled that font in. Now what you want to do is you want to have your, um, you want to put this in the CSS. So I want to use Railway for my H1. So I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to put that in my H1. Then I'm going to create a new rule for my paragraph and I'm going to put that other one in for my paragraphs. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and you'll be surprised at how dramatically it changes the page. All right, whoop, that's not it, is it? Oh, I guess I'm going to have to restart it. All right, so this is the difference here on my, here's my railway font, and then here is that that Playfair display. Now, if I don't think some fonts, you might need to make them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make this um, P a little bit bigger and I'm going to call it 1.2M. And basically, 1M is the is like the default size of a font. So basically what I'm saying is turn it into 120% of the regular size. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm not sure that I necessarily like this font. It doesn't seem as um, doesn't seem as good as I wanted it to be. So if that's the case, I can always s subtract it and I can go back and use, let's say I want to use my let's see, my open sans font can't go wrong with that. Okay, so since I've made a change, I'm going to have to make a change to my my link and then I'm going to have to grab the open sans. So let's go ahead and grab open sans and see if I like that one better. And really this is one of the hardest parts is trying to get everything to be the way you want it to be. Okay, so that, maybe I like that better, maybe that works better. Um, you notice this is my H2, and so it's not coming up with that font. I can do, I can do an H2 rule and grab this font family and put it in here as well. And so that makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so there's a big difference between this and this page. There's a big difference between this and what I originally started with. So the, the moral of the story here is use Google Fonts. It's free. Um, there is, you know, if you have like a very popular website, it there's a, a certain limit to how many Google Fonts they'll let you use. But for what most of us are doing, we're not going to be coming anywhere near that limit. So take advantage of it and there's some really fun fun fonts out there that you can use for you know you can even use these for like your logos and you know 
make lots of cool things out of out of uh, typography. Okay, great. Thanks.